Today I've got Through Night, and in this case, it probably says on the box here, the Through Night Black Scout Survival, and even cooler, it is in Desert Tan. You know, most flashlights are the black anodized, and it's fine, it's what flashlights come in, but every so often you can get some flashlights in a little bit cooler colors, and in this case, we have a cool Desert Tan. This light does still come in black if you want it, but I think this brown is kind of a cool, cool look to it. This is from Through Night. Now this is their Black Scout Survival Series you can see right there. The Black Scout Series used to be made by WowTac. If you're familiar with Through Night, you know they have their sister brand WowTac, and WowTac is kind of their budget brand. It doesn't come with all the extra accessories that Through Night comes with. And they've taken their Black Scout Survival Series, which used to be WowTac. There was the Black Scout Survival V3, and again, it was a WowTac light. And I also have the WowTac Black Scout Survival. This is the, what is it, the V2. And they've taken their Black Scout series and they've moved it from WowTac over to Through Night. And so now you get some more stuff with it. They've also taken it and they've doubled, essentially they've doubled the output. The output on these was 1150 and the new through night one is all the way up to 2523, 2523 lumens. So double the brightness, super bright, a little bit more expensive and you get a little bit more stuff with it. So let's have a look at it. This light is 6495 in the tan. It does come in black and the black version is 59.95. Save a little bit of money. But I think this brown color is just, again, it's, it's more unique than the typical black light that everyone is used to. The black anodized, it's nice, it's fine, it's black but I think this brown tan is kind of a cool look to it. Size-wise, for comparison, just to compare the WowTac V2, Black Scout Survival, and the V3, and now adding in the V4. You can see it is a little bit, it's kind of right in the middle as far as that goes, but again, twice the output. It does come with a strike bezel and this bezel will mess up whatever you try and take it to. It will mess up your pocket, it will mess up a person, I bet it would mess up a tree or anything else. So if you're gonna carry this in your pocket, beware, uh, you may end up with a hole in your pocket. So careful with that, it does come off. Uh, if you want to carry it like this, I might advise carrying it in the belt clip case that they come with it. It's a soft, pliable case and this will fit right down in there. And apparently I turned the light on. So it will fit down in there like that with that strike bezel down at that end. Now this case on the back here, it is just, this is fixed. So if you're gonna try and put this on your belt, it's going to probably slide around a little bit. I think this could be a little bit better done if this opened up and there was just maybe a 1.5 or two inch space up here. So if you're gonna put it on your belt, it would hold pretty steady. You can alternatively clip it on with a D-ring, but that is the case. This light also, aside from coming as regular with this kind of tactical bezel here, and then obviously a white light, it also comes with a red lens, which fits on the front here. And that red lens will put out a red light, which in, in the camera, the red light never looks red, but trust me, it is very red in person. The only downside, downside is really the word to this lens, is that either you're going to leave it on, but if you take it off, it's not hard to lose. It would be handy if you were going to, maybe on this case, if there was a little pocket that you could kind of slide it into. That way, if you're gonna carry this around in your belt, wherever you're going, you could slide this in here and have easy access to it and not lose it. Uh, that would just be a nice option for this case. I'm not a belt case kind of guy, but they do include it if you're so inclined. Again, this being the through night version of the light, they do include a few extra things with it. They include a lanyard, which you can affix to the lanyard hole and back here. And then there's some extra O-rings, an extra tail cap button, and some extra side covers as well. Also comes with the standard warranty card and instructions. Now, speaking of the instructions, this light has a little bit different user interface than lights that you might be used to. I actually thought it was broken when I got it. I thought I got a defective light. So let me just talk about that a little bit. Typical lights, the way that they usually work, a lot of lights have side buttons now, and you would turn it on from the back, so, and then you would press the side button 
to go through the brightnesses. However, not the case with this light. The way this light works is there is a side button and there is the rear tail button. The rear tail button only does turbo. It will momentary on to turbo, that 2500 or so lumens. And if you click that on, the side button is rendered non-functional. The side button though is what you use to get to all the other modes. If you long press it, it will go to a moonlight mode and then you can turn it back off. And then if you just single click it, it will circulate through the low, medium, high. It has mode memory, so you turn it off on low, turn it back on on low, and then you long press it to cycle through low, medium, and high. And from any of those modes, if from low, you want to get to the turbo with the side button, you double click, it goes to turbo, back onto low, and then if you want to get to strobe, you triple click, and it will go to the strobe. Also, if it's on and low and you want immediate access to the turbo, you can press the tail button, go to the turbo, and then it will turn off after that. So again, it's a little bit different user interface. Tail cap only for turbo, side button for everything else. Looking at the light, taking off the tail cap here on the inside here, it does come with a WowTac battery, 18650 battery, which is rechargeable, and you recharge the light by opening up this port on the side here and taking the included micro USB cable. You just need the power brick side of it and you plug it into there and it will charge. Put the battery back in and tail cap back on O-ring right here. The pocket clip is removable. It comes off if you want to use it or not use it. I appreciate that right here, there is not an indentation that goes down there. So you'll have decent way to get that into your pocket. There's not gonna be a lot of underclip issues. And there's obviously a lot of space down here. Forward of that on the head, again, the side button, the rechargeable button. This does get really pretty warm pretty quickly if you have it on the higher modes. In the head there, there is that deep smooth reflector. It does give a decent throw to this light. Uh, if you're looking out in the dark and want to get somewhere out farther, this will give a good amount of throw with that reflector. If you're gonna take this camping as a survival light, you know, immediate access to full brightness or put on that red lens and you can use it in the tent and things like that so as to not affect your eyes once they're adjusted to the darkness. Talk about the run times real quick. If you long press it, it's going to come onto that 0.54, not 0.5, but 0.54 lumen moonlight mode. It's gonna do that for 56 days. Coming onto the low, 33 lumens for 55 hours, 42 minutes. Going up to medium, 350 lumens for 4.5 hours. If you leave it on one brightness too long, it will ramp back down to the low. So back up to medium and back up to high, 1,426 lumens, and then it will ramp down to 634 lumens after 130 seconds, and it will do that for 150 minutes. And the head of this does get pretty warm. If you go up to the turbo, that turbo, as I mentioned, is 2,523 lumens. It's gonna ramp down to that 614 after about 125 seconds, and it's gonna do that for 147 more minutes. And then, you, as mentioned, once it's in the turbo and this head is already getting really pretty warm, just have a little bit of time I've had it on here. But if when it's on, you wanna get into that strobe, that strobe is 1200 lumens for 210 minutes. So there you go, that's it. The through night Black Scout Survival V4. This light has lots of functions. Because it has that strike bezel, you can use it for self-defense. You can use it to chop down a tree maybe. Get that red lens, you can take it camping. It's not going to ruin your night vision or just that bright white light. So lots of uses for that. It's not too big, you can carry it in your pocket. I've carried it in my pocket several days to work and it's not that big, it's not that intrusive. It's not a super small light, but I think it's small enough that you could carry it and it's not going to be a big deal. Comes with some nice accessories, great for camping, great for every day, great for, well, a ton of uses. So anyway, that's it. Check it out, through night, Black Scout Survival V4.